the contest for the best project of the new building of the city theater was won by Austrian architects, Kralna and Helmer. This was their 13th project. But they had never been here. They didn't know the local landscape. Their project was significantly modified by the famous city architects. On October 1st, 1887, the last stone block was put into the top landing of the staircase. This staircase was used by people who sat all the way up in the gallery. Quite a difference. When the Austrian architects came for the theater's opening and saw this theater, they exclaimed that this was the best theater which they had ever designed. This is absolutely stunning. This chandelier weighs 2.3 tons. There's a special procedure for cleaning and maintenance. The theater became the first public building in Odessa, which got power electricity. The best view on the hall is from the top. From here, you get to see it all. This is absolutely amazing. This is the best view on the hall. of a ticket to sit here is about two dollars. The city officials took special measures to protect the theater during the World War II bombings. The theater got extremely lucky. A high explosive shell got into the building, but fortunately didn't explode. A true miracle. The last reconstruction works, all the theaters interior and exterior, were finished in 2007. Nine kilos of golden leaf were used to restore the interiors. The 2007 edition of Forbes included the Odessa National Opera and Ballet Theater into the list of top sites in Eastern Europe. The performance is about to start.